not move my fingers they're frozen so cold this is the coldest i've been like my eyeballs are cold previously on montana dana i broke down in calhoun georgia almost ran out of food but i did get my transmission fixed and after i had a good cry about the lack of internet service i headed to nashville good morning friends i pulled into a cracker barrel late last night i was in a starbucks trying to upload a video and they said they closed at 10 but they closed at 9 instead so i wasn't able to upload my video so i'm like i'm just gonna drive to so drive to nashville and figure it out so here we are I opened the door last night and that car was sitting there with its lights on. Are you still there? Are you okay, ma'am? Are you grabbing your morning coffee? I'm gonna go over to Cracker Barrel, get coffee, and then come back and get ready for the day. everything in drive mode. I'm heading into Nashville. I'm going to this place called BMI. It's a performing rights organization. So like if your songs are played in movies or in commercials, like one of my songs is being played in Europe in commercials and I get a little paycheck every year. So they collect money from musicians. So I want to make sure all my songs are registered properly and get some advice. Sometimes they have good contacts. I mean, the more money you make, the more money they make. So they often try and help you get gigs and stuff like that. So I'm going to stop in and show them some of my new songs and just kind of get the ball rolling just see where i'm at see what i need to do and then we're gonna go explore nashville i just checked and there's an 80 percent chance of rain today so maybe we'll do like an evening explore nashville it wasn't the explore nashville day i was hoping for i always just kind of go with the flow trust my instincts if i feel like staying somewhere longer i will if i don't i go i have no idea what this day has in store but it's about a 30 minute drive to nashville so Let's go. Kind of a shysty day out, not gonna lie. Maybe I'll keep driving, I don't know. I just always go where my gut tells me to go. For better or worse. There is so much to check before I can leave while hauling a trailer. The five things at the hitch, there's three doors, there's all the things inside the trailer. Plug in the jackery, turn the tow haul on. I miss the days where I could just hop into the front of my van and go. I miss that very, very much, but I love my build so, so much more. Like, like when I'm parked and all set up, I love my space. I love it so much, so it's worth it. It's just, it's a big, big learning curve getting all this shit sorted. But you know what? We're adaptable as human beings, very adaptable. And um, I'm sure it will get easier. I'm sure it'll just be part of my routine. Shift, are we shifting? So I get confused with the tow haul turned on because my car doesn't shift. I guess that's the point. That's what it's supposed to do. I uh, hope my engine isn't going to explode. Okay, we're gonna get some gas. We're gonna go to the BMIs. Then we're going to rainy Nashville. Okie dokie. I need to name the trailer. Do you guys have any ideas? My friend Rita said trailer swift. I think that's hilarious, but I don't, I don't know if like after living the space, I don't know if that's it. I don't know. If, that's the name. Oh, crossing three lanes of traffic to turn left, are we? <laughs> okay. I love being sandwiched between two semis whilst pulling a trailer. It's a good time. I don't really want to Nashville today. Is that a crime? I think I might just keep driving. I don't know. I want to land somewhere. I know the West Coast a little better. I kind of just want to like zip over there and get home. Put my stuff in storage and chill in Utah for a little bit where I'm comfortable, where I feel safe and kind of recuperate from breaking down and living out of suitcases for the last year. I've been like so excited to go to Nashville, but it's rainy. I was supposed to meet a friend for coffee, but they're not available till next week. I wanted to perform at the Bluebird Cafe, but the open mic is only on Mondays. So then I would have to stay here for another four days. I don't really want to stay here for another four days. I don't know. So I'm going to call BMI, see if I can get someone on the phone and just have that conversation while I'm driving. I don't know. I want to do Nashville, but I don't know if I want to do like Nashville in January. It would be fun, but I'm not in the mood for adventure right now. I'm in the mood to fucking relax. I just need to relax. Anywho, I think I'm gonna keep driving. Got a new transmission. I've been writing a song as I'm driving. Like, I'm just kind of feeling like driving today. I don't know. Let's just, let's get the bulk of the driving over with. I 
refuse to stop on the freeway. I refuse. Go ahead, Honda Accent. Get it. Get it. Oh, oh, we did it. We stopped. Note to self. Not a fan of early morning Nashville traffic. Got it. Good to know. I always get shit for driving at night, but this is why I drive at night. So you can just fly through the cities without any traffic. Get it. Lexus. Yes, honey. Be assertive. I love it. guys that's good i'm just pulling over for a mental break because it's it's really stressful driving the trailer in traffic and weather <sighs> i'm over this i'll upload my song a day i'll chill upload my song a day and then get back on the road welcome to illinois Very unaware of my surroundings. Just went where Siri told me to go. I look like hail on French toast right now. So my service engine soon light just came on. Excuse me, ma'am. We just took care of this. What seems to be the issue? Just get me to St. George. Let me put my stuff back into storage. I'm presently in High Hills, Missouri. I'm about 11 and a half hours away from my destination. Well, I don't know if I should pull over and restart my vehicle. Why is the service engine light on? I just got my engine serviced yesterday. Pulled over at a Cracker Barrel and I'm looking at the crime rates in this city. I mean, that's probably not the best idea, but it's smart. It's smart. Um, and it's a D minus on an A through F scale. <gasps> oh, fuck. There's another Cracker Barrel on the other side of Kansas City and it's a D on the safety scale. I would seriously just drive all the way through the night to reach my destination. I really would. I'm gonna fucking cry. I'm going to cry. I walked into a disaster. My piano came away from the wall. My wall's all scratched up from my hangers and my bed jet forward. My ceiling panels are coming off. It's a lot more difficult driving and knowing like when this is going over bumps, like I know when the Suburban goes over bumps and I know when to kind of slow down and when I'm like on the rattly part of the freeway, but I can't really tell when the trailer is in that condition. It's a bit interesting and it's fucking cold like the coldest I've been yet. <sighs> so here we are. This is my life. I don't wanna do it. I'm usually pretty positive and can make light of situations, but I'm like about ready to fucking snap. I usually don't drive 10 hours a day either. So this stuff probably won't happen on a regular basis, but I'm pretty over it. This is not my favorite sight ever. Yikes, yikes, uh-oh. And my computer's down there. I hope my computer's okay. How did this come away from the wall? I like drilled it in, man. At least my gemstones are safe. They're there, honey. 24 degrees, so cold. This is the coldest I've been. Like my eyeballs are cold. I'm gonna sleep with a full jacket and then pull this over my eyeballs like so. I've got seven blankets and the heating pad is plugged in. Uh, I called the mechanic and I'm gonna take my car in in the morning at seven and just have them look at it and tell me what's wrong. Uh, I don't know if something's wrong, maybe I just have a tire that's low in air, but they're gonna look at it and they'll be able to tell me why the check engine soon light came on. I lit my candle and my other candle just to get a little heat. It actually does help, it heats it up in here. The only thing is, I've been getting like a little bit of sinus issue. I think that's because I don't have any ventilation in here with two candles on. It's worth being warm. <laughs> I'm heading to Colorado, which is silly because it's January, but I have a friend there I'm meeting up and hanging out with parking outside of their place. 
for a while, for a couple weeks at least. So um, I'm gonna get a little buddy heater and carbon monoxide detector and I'll be able to like detach the car and go shower at Planet Fitness and like keep my trailer parked. So that will be really, really nice. It's officially 20 degrees outside. I don't even have a sleeping bag. I should have bought the little buddy heater, but I was planning on following the sun, but plans change. It was a little warmer in Nashville. I didn't know where I was parking tonight. I didn't know how far I would drive. I thought I would get a little farther, quite honestly, but my check engine light came on. So we're just gonna tough it out tonight. Hopefully I can sleep through the night. This heating pad though has come in so, so handy. Might be a double jacket kind of night. <laughs> I cannot move my fingers. They're frozen. I'm sitting on my fingers to try and warm up. My computer is giving off a little heat though, so that's nice. I planned on going to Arizona. I'm going to see friends in Denver instead. I should have put insulation in my van. That would have been a very good decision, but I was planning on following the sun. Here we are. See how this night goes. <sighs> I had to put on a sweatshirt underneath. So cold. My um, bigger jackery's in the car. I should probably go get it now, but I don't want to. I had 100% charge and it's been about an hour and I'm at 75%. So keeping the heating blanket on all night is gonna like drain my battery. My heating blanket turns off every two hours so it'll conserve energy. So that's good, but I might need it like running all night. <laughs> so cold. Oof, duh. I was editing and my fingers froze. I need to drive south pretty soon. Like I'm gonna go visit my friend for a week or two and then I'm driving south. I can't, I can't do this for <laughs> very much longer. I mean, it'd be easy to get a buddy heater and just set that up, but um, my dad's house burnt down from a propane heater. So I'm very, like I don't wanna use that all the time. Makes me nervous. Plus the fumes and all of that stuff. The lights are out, going to bed. It's actually decently warm with the heating blanket. Like the little heating pad does a lot. I also have my fuzzy slippers. All right, supposed to get down to 20 degrees tonight. Wish me luck. That was a cold night, not gonna lie, but I pretty much slept through. I tossed and turned a little bit and then just turned my heating pad back on and it was fine. Heating pad in for the win. I can't move my fingers, they're so frozen. However, whew, getting out of bed this morning was not fun though. It was not fun. Made it. remember what town I'm in right now. I just drove until my check engine light came on. Got ice this morning. Straight ice. I'm gonna go into a Lee and fill up with gas and then go to the mechanic. Got a coffee in a cup of mug. I cannot wait to go to Arizona. I am not a cold weather person. I, I just am not. I keep trying to be, but I am not. Pulling in and realizing is there a way to pull out. So not great news. It's gonna cost 150 bucks for them just to look at the engine. Oh, the engine light just went off. What the fuck? <laughs> Literally, I restarted my car and the light is off. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I guess I'm just gonna drive. Is that a good idea? Is that what we're doing? We're just driving. I miss my van. I'm gonna cry. I'm literally gonna cry about it. My brand new fucking van which I could not get a loan for this year. This is such a pain in the fucking ass. <sighs> no clue why the check engine soon light went off, but I guess we are driving, trying to make it to Denver today. over taking a little Starbucks break. I'm going to turn into a bacon egg bite pretty soon. I eat them every single day. You guys have any ideas how to make them in van life? Let me know. I would love to save some money because eggs are so cheap. Getting back on the road, I just stopped and answered everyone's comments and just took a break. Let the car take a break. I'm about nine hours away from my destination. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And away we go. Thank you, random town in Kansas, for your pull through parking spots. I just went through a toll booth. My first toll booth during van life. How exciting. That $7 was almost worth the excitement. Almost. I think I'm gonna get a ticket because I missed a toll booth and I drove through somewhere and the little blinky light took a picture of my license plate. So. Looking forward to that. <laughs> Hashtag man line. So the service engine soon light came back on, but we're still cruising. Filling up for gas, and I am, I'm afraid. 
I'm afraid to look. It's not too bad. Oh, that's my basket. Not too shabby. Oh, nothing. Just trying to do a U-turn in the middle of the street. Actually pretty good. I pulled in there and backed up. Not too shabby, except for about to jackknife. Oh, fuck. The last thing I want to do at the end of a 12 hour drive is try to do a U-turn with a trailer. I don't know how to not jackknife it at this point. I get the trailer at the right angle, but then I can't get the Suburban at an angle that is doable. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm about to get all jackknifed. Might just have to go over the curb right here. Should I just hit the snowbank? Heading straight for the snowbank. I don't think I can do it. I truly don't. I might just live in this alleyway for now. That just might be what has to happen. I'm so fucking over this. Oh, there goes all my shit falling off the walls. Really happy I drove to the ice and snow. That's probably a good choice. The trailer life is not the life for me. I just want to get my shit back to Utah. That's all I'm fucking trying to do. Just merge my Florida and Utah belongings and I'm about to lose my fucking mind. Heart. I don't, I don't want to. Ooh, my piano. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, I need to get over there. I'm genuinely confused. Where did my other guitar go? <gasps> oh no, that is not good. Well, <laughs> you can tell stuff's been like banging around in here. Well, we're parked for a while anyway. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you made it this far, tell me what you think I should name my trailer. If you can't think of a name, write Frozen down in the comments and I will write you back. Check back tomorrow for more shenanigans. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it with your friends. See you tomorrow.